This is not paid programming. Hi everyone, welcome to the Monday Morning Show and today we'll be talking about the ridiculousness of Sam's Club. So to start you off, if you don't know what Sam's Club is, it's basically just a big giant superstore that literally has anything that you could ever want. Sam's Club has some ridiculous items. I mean, I, I saw there, there was just two giant pillows, just like a set of two giant pillows for just 20 bucks. And it's just like, oh my god, I have to have that. And what's even more ridiculous is that they have just a giant play set just in the middle of it. Like a, a play set that you'd get for your kids in like your backyard. They just have it sitting there just towering, up, towering above everything in the entire store. Now don't get me wrong, I really like Sam's Club. Except I just haven't been there in a really long time. Except for, of course, today. And it, it's just such a strange experience because you go from one aisle to the next just from like... One aisle is, for example, it was like cameras, and the next aisle was like baby food. And you're like, how do you go from cameras to baby food? But you're still like, wow, look, 10 stories of baby food just on shelves. I mean, it's incredible. Also at Sam's Club, you have those guys that walk around with like the hats and the aprons, and they're like, oh, you want free samples? And of course you want free samples. That's really the only reason that you go to Sam's Club is to get free samples of just anything you want. But the thing is, is you can't just... Walt in the Sam's Club, you have to be like a member where you literally like show an ID when you get in and you have to pay like a like a yearly debt to them. I don't know, like I don't even know how much it is every year, but you have to pay them a certain amount of money just to go and shop there. I guess just paying for that small like debt every single year isn't really that bad because you can literally go there and get anything. I mean, like they even had a section where you could buy beds and couches and I mean like this is like basically just like the ideal superstore. And what's even weirder about it is that you can literally have like an entire meal there too. You can get cameras, sofas, just all this crazy random stuff that you don't even need and you can also just get a full meal. You can get an entire pizza or I got a slushie or you can get like a hot dog or anything. And it's just like they have their own like picnic area. I mean it's, it's just the all-American family fun zone. One of my favorite things uh, when I was a child going into Sam's Club was to just like plant myself in front of a TV and watch an entire movie because they always have movies playing just like a different movie each TV but now whenever I walked in today um, they only had it on like the play screen and I couldn't find the remote so I, it was a bummer I couldn't watch the entire Zootopia movie. I mean we were literally there for like an hour and 15 minutes. I could have gotten a pretty good portion of Zootopia done. I just could have like sat there and just watched the entire movie. Popping pills is all we know. In the hills is all we know. The setting of Sam's Club is almost like a fair. I mean, there's like a bunch of just so many people in there. There's food. <laughs> like I'm, I'm surprised there aren't like Ferris wheels and other kiddie rides in there for you to ride while you're eating your giant pizza or buying your two pack of two pillows for 20 bucks. But my like one single problem with Sam's Club today was of course being me I instantly went went over to the uh, the camera spot like where you can get all the cameras and like I like pulled them up and I tried to turn them on and none of them turned on. Like what exactly is the point of having a camera section when you can't turn it on and actually look through it and like see the quality of the camera. I'm I, like, I literally went around to like each one and none of them turned on except for one single camera. And I was like, mm, this one looks pretty good since, you know, the other ones didn't work. I just hit a three feet. Another funny thing about Sam's Club is that they literally like sell sheds. And I mean like, they sell sheds that are like li literally like the, the entire size of my set that I have here. I could buy a shed and place everything I have here inside of that shed and it, it, I could live in it. And like I walked up to one and I opened it up and I walked inside and I was like, I could like break into Sam's Club and live here and it, no one would notice. I could like live in the rafters and like what, what is that called? Squatting? As I look around to nobody to see if I'm 
saying that correctly. I think it's squatting or something like that where you like break in and you like live. I, I don't know. I, I would definitely, if I'm right, I would definitely squat in Sam's Club. Okay, thank you for watching today's episode. I apologize for it being uh, kind of short and random, I guess. Uh, just overall, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe for more. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. We've hit 42. I really appreciate it. That's actually really cool. And if this video gets at least four, four views, which I'm, I'm guessing it will, um, that will mean that we, we have hit overall on the channel we have hit over 2,000 views and that's also really awesome thank you so much for 2,000 views overall since April that's not great I guess it's actually kinda horrible but for me it's great and I thank you so much for it uh, have a great Monday have a great rest of your week and uh, I'll see you Wednesday and Friday alright thank you so much that's all I have for today see ya